Okay, so you're not going to get your taxes raised if you if you're earning over three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. You don't have to worry about your taxes raised. Let's talk about health care talks it impacts small businesses. Okay, Wall Street Journal came out with a saying the health care bill is a jobs killer, with a five with its five point four percent income on income point income surcap surtax that would hit small businesses especially hard. Well, the reality is that according to the Ways Commission Committee stated that, it, that according to the JCT, only 4.1% of small business owners would be affected by the surtax. So when you read something in the Wall Street Journal and they say that all these small businesses are going to have to have a 5.4% surtax, and then you read that when you actually read what, what the bill actually says that only 4.1% of all small businesses will be affected by the surtax, it makes it a little bit clearer to you about whose taxes are going to be impacted by this. Again, Gretchen Carlson, we're talking about small businesses. She says the real victim potentially of this health care reform is a small business owner. They're going to be hit potentially with this health care reform if they don't offer health care to their employees and 8% penalty on them. Well, guess what? 8% penalty, companies with annual payrolls of less, less than $250,000 would pay no penalty. She makes it seem like all small businesses will have to pay 8% penalty. If you're earning, if you have payrolls of less than $250,000, you have no penalty. So you pay yourself $100,000, you have three employees and pay them $50,000, you don't provide any health care coverage, you have no penalty. But after that, there are subsequent penalties for those earning payrolls between two fifty dollars to three hundred. dollars There's a 2% payroll penalty, not 8%, but a 2%. $300 to three fifty, four percent dollars 4%. 350 to 400, 6%, and those with 400,000 or higher, 8%. It's on a gradual scale. See, they'll tell you things in a slanted way, and they won't give you all of the information that you need to get the full picture. Not all small businesses will be hurt by this. Okay? Now, last couple of points that I want to talk about today, because it really talks about, especially in, in people like on Fox News, like Hannity, who give blatant mistruths or lies or they're just ignorant of the real facts okay the house bill will ban private individual insurance well there's a claim that's saying how, how the, health, the house health care reform bill would outlaw individual private insurance well there is a statement by ibd it did say this in the investors business daily it said that a provision making individual private medical insurance legal Stated that the provision would indeed outlaw private insurance. Well, guess what, IBD? You got it wrong. That's wrong. It's not the facts. The facts are this here. And Hannity goes on to say to back up what the IBD says is the, the only one thing that the only thing that we do know in the healthcare bears is gonna literally, the bill says, oh, as is if you actually read the bill, the bill says, oh, the Investors Business Daily had an article today. So first he says, the bill says, and then he starts quoting Investors Business Daily because he probably didn't even read the bill, the bill in the first place. And the bill says that if you don't have your health insurance the year this legislation implemented, you can't have private insurance, so that will end. Hang on, that will end private insurance. Wrong, that is not the truth. The truth is, the bill does not outlaw private insurance. In the, in, the, in the fact, as you look in here, it says individual private health insurance plans that do not meet the grandfather conditions would still be available for purchase. This is in the bill. Still be available for purchase, but only through the exchange and subject to those regulations. Regulations like what? No pre-existing conditions, no discriminatory actions, make sure there's no cap on expenditures. So there, there are clauses in which your still private conditions will still be available to you, but these clauses are in your favor. So you're fighting against clauses that actually are something that's to your benefit for those who oppose health care reform. So those who say that they're not, no longer be able to keep this, their health care insurance or whatever, it's a blatant lie and it's a blatant mistruth. It's just not accurate. Okay, then they go on to say something that's related that Obama himself didn't read the bill. Limbo said, Limbo asserted that Obama doesn't know what this, what's in this bill. He admits he doesn't know. Then uh, the Heritage Foundation says, Obama says he's not familiar with the House bill. Hannity, the, the president, even admitted before the press conference the day before he hadn't read the bill. He's read the bill, Hannity. He's read the bill, Limbo. 
This is what the truth is. Obama said he was not familiar with the, oppo the opponent's false talking point that the bill would ban private health, health care insurance. An individual called up and said, hey, Obama, did you read the editorial to say that they will make individual private medical insurance illegal? Did you read that editorial about that? And Obama said, you know, I have to say I'm not familiar with that provision you're talking about. Well, you know what? I'm not familiar with that provision either. Because guess what? It's not in the bill. It's not in the, There is no provision for that. Obama's not familiar with it. I'm not familiar with it. And I've read the bill because it's not in there. It's false. This is how they take the truth, Limbo and Hannity, and they misrepresent themselves. We have to understand what we're looking at, but you would only be able to do that if you actually read the bill and researched for yourself. Does abortion, does this, does this health care mandate abortion? Does it cover abortion payments? No. 50% of America believes that it does. Guess what? It doesn't. PolitiFact.org disputes it. FactCheck.org disputes it, saying that it, 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 there's nothing in the bill. And John Boehner, again, the, 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 a, a leader in the Republican Party, said that the bill would subsidize abortions. Again, another false claim, another lie. They, I, I can't believe that they don't know that this information doesn't exist.